Hey guys, what's up? Team Natty back here again. And I gotta tell you something, I ran a beer mile. Now it sounds kind of weird, but let me get into it. to expect and I was just gonna go have fun and then I see these people competitively chugging these beers and running and the you know the racer inside me my heart starts pounding I'm getting excited I'm getting a little nervous but I'm like man I want to run I want to take off I want my heat to come up so so then finally it's my turn to run and I get up there and I'm not gonna lie beforehand I googled you know what are some tips and tricks to beer miling and I really just I went for it you know I mean like I know my, my chug time is going to be the longest. Um, and I think, I think most professional beer runners, their chug time is shorter than their run time. Obviously they can get it down like seven seconds. I was thinking I'm probably going to run faster than I can chug. I don't think it's exactly how it went, but either way, uh, Michelob Ultra is the beer of choice. You have to drink the way a beer mile works is one mile run. Okay. You start, you have to chug a beer and empty it. You have to completely chug the beer before you can run. You run a 400 meter stretch, then you have to chug another beer and you have to do that several times. So you do that four times total. So four beers, one mile. I completed it in like eight minutes and some odd seconds. Can't remember the exact time, but um, I actually lapped people. But I looked up, I was like, you know, I've chugged a lot of things. I've, I've chugged a lot of energy drinks. I've chugged a lot of um, water. I had to be hydrated, I don't know. But basically I knew that I had to just tilt back and relax my throat and let it slide down. If I had any chance of winning this, I had to, you know, and the competitor in me wanted to win this, I had to completely disregard the taste, the warmth of it, because it was sitting out all day. And, um, well not all day, because this run kind of happened around like one or two o'clock in the afternoon. But it was sitting out, it was, um, it was hot, and it's beer, so it's not the greatest tasting thing in the world. But you know, I swallowed it, I was just like, you know what, whatever. And I just, boom, I just pulled it up. Everyone else is like taking sips and trying to drink it. I just straight uh, tilted it back, chugged it down. You're gonna see some footage of it. I'm not like, I mean, I might be exaggerating a little bit, but that's how I, you know, I think I did it. Is I, ch I chugged the beer, you know, the show was empty. And then as soon as I got out of there, I just took off in a dead sprint. And the first whole 100 meter stretch, like the first stretch, I was just like, I, I didn't even breathe. I'm just burping the entire time. Like, I don't even breathe. I can't, like, 
sing to myself to my music in my head, which was good music. I had the right music came on at the right time. Some good old Rise Against off the unraveling. But the, um, you know, the beer is just, it's complete, like it's foaming up in my stomach. My stomach is just like protruding. I'm getting bloated and I'm just burping the entire time. And I just hit it and sprint. The turns are kind of sharp. So I'm trying to like, you know, bounce off the wall and I'm like coming around the corner and trying to get around and I'm taking off and I get back in there and I can't believe it that I'm the first one back and I just chug another beer and I leave before anyone else keep, comes back in and I'm just like ecstatic. So then that just makes me want to run faster and I keep going. Um, but yeah, I mean, I hit the, uh, I hit the thing, uh, uh, the little patio that you had to, uh, chug and I was just like, I'm just going to keep doing this. And eventually I break the ribbon. I'm like, what is going on here? Like I had no idea that I was that far ahead or like that, you know, I would do so well. It was kind of surprising. And a lot of people came up to me and asked me like, you know, what's your training method? How'd you get ready for this? I'm like, really? I'm just a runner. Like I've just been running for a long time. I like running. I, mile was my, like my main event in high school and track. Um, for, well, I only did track until I was a sophomore. I just, I, I had ran so much that I just kind of got burnt out and wanted to do other things, try other things. But I just, my stomach was bloated at the end. I was like trying to breathe and I like grabbed him to trash him like, <laughs> and they're trying to like, you know, um, give me my time. I didn't even care. I was just like holding on this trash can for dear life thinking I was going to puke. I ended up not puking, which was nice. And then I walk over this bench, I grab a water. I asked Taylor to get me another one. Uh, cause uh, I'm like, it's starting to hit me and it starts hitting me hard. Cause I'm not a heavy drinker, four beers in less than 10 minutes. You know, I'm chugging them. I was getting hit hard. And, uh, she's the person with the, the, the waters is distracted clearly, but she finally gets me another one. Cause like I said, it's hot. It's the afternoon. It's August. And then I just like lay down across this bench and I'm just out with like two waters in between my lap. And I felt like a homeless man to be quite honest. But, um, yeah, people were asking me, I'm like, I really don't know. I never trained before this before. I didn't expect to do so well. You know, I just ran, which is what I'm used to doing and then chugged. So, uh, there's my experience with the beer mile. Honestly, if you guys are into running fun runs or any sort of competition, or if you're into, um, beer and running, then I suggest you do it. It's actually pretty fun. Uh, next year, I think I'm gonna do with the, called the heavyweight division of the Chuggernauts, which I think the only difference was Budweiser versus Michelob Ultra, um, and that's that. Uh, I think they had to pour it on their heads too, uh, in case there was some spillage and then you pour it out on yourself, and I think they like maybe changed your time or whatever, gave you a penalty, but the thing is, um, like I chugged all mine and I made sure like it was empty, you know, I didn't drip any. So I was very, I was very competitive and very, um, vigilant about my chugging and everything. So, um, it's my experience with the beer run. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and the little, sorry that the Taylor filmed it like this. So there's going to be the black boxes. I'm sorry, but you're going to have some fun watching that. And then, you know, uh, hearing my story. So hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. Take it easy team Maddie out. Thank you.